How's it going, YouTubers? Uh, today we're looking at my 2009 John Deere X300. And just going to do a little review. Uh, got this earlier in the year. Uh, with about 350 hours on it. Uh, I didn't didn't do much with it. Mowed a couple yards. My yard a bunch. And, uh, got about 375 hours on it now. But uh, just do a little bit of review here. Um, I really like this huge gas cap. As you can see, how huge it is. You can literally put three gas cans in there to pump it up at once. And, uh, one downfall would be the gas gauge. As you can see, it's right there. It's right at about a third of a tank. But, uh, yep, that's uh, the only gas gauge. It's a see-through translucent I mean tank and um, I've got some stickers on the rear end but uh yep nice cargo attachments um, I actually have a five gallon pail a bucket bucket attachment with uh, for one five gallon pail that's pretty cool uh, nice nice compartment it's a uh, it's not as nice as the newer ones that are in closed compartments because it really gets dusty. A lot, of, a lot of grass gets in there and debris and whatnot. But, uh, very comfortable. Uh, 15 positions on the seat. Uh, you can go forward, back, a little up and down. Um, a total of 15 positions. On this, uh, this is a 15 inch high back. Uh, they do actually make an 18 inch, but um, as you can see, just about perfectly, that's what happened. Smoking and riding. And uh, yeah, I love the cruise control on it. All you do is when you're on your gas, you pull up on this, let off the gas real easy, and it stays engaged. Uh, parking brake, PTO. Over here we have the deck lift. Throttle and choke, and uh, spring-loaded choke at that. Always nice. Um, yep. So some good service tips. Uh, oil filter. There's a drain right here. Nice outside of the frame and everything. Uh, so it's virtually mess-free. Um, oil filters right there, and. Uh, fill tube and um, one spark plug right here and the other spark plug right here looks like I got some insulation coming out nothing major I got a fuel pump uh, an external fuel filter solenoid Fuse panel, battery, nice breathable cowl, uh, starter. So it's really easy. Every, everything's really accessible on it, which is really a uh, slight mechanically inclined, owner friendly. And uh, exhaust comes out right there. Has nice headlights, very bright at night time. Uh, I actually bought this little brush guard here for a hundred bucks because I broke this one time loading it in my truck, the John Deere logo. So uh, put that brush guard on there, makes it look really sharp. And uh, yep, yeah, this one come from LeBurgeon Curtis out of Canton, New York. And, uh, nice deck adjust. Goes by quarter inch from one to four. And, uh, as you can see, it does a really nice job where there is grass. But, uh, yeah, so uh, this is my 2009 John Deere 
X300. And uh, overall, I rate it probably 9 out of 10. It uh, could be a little bit comfortabler. Could 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 uh maybe put a little bit of a suspension in the back. That'd been nice because it is a little rough in the hard terrain, which it's actually made to do. So you'd think they uh you think they'd put a little bit of a rear suspension in there. They got some uh kind of like ball joint looking things in the front, so it's real real flexible and uh, the deck rollers on both sides. Um, help the deck stay flat when the mower tilts and uh, that's definitely a plus so this is uh, the edge extra 42 inch and it's got the washable port on it uh, so you can stick a garden hose right in there and, um, yeah and that's about it she's a beaut and uh, what can I say nothing runs like a deer Thanks for watching.